Folks, things still pretty quiet across the valley tonight. Skies mainly cloudy, but the rain has stayed just on the edges of the valley. Zoom out a little bit, and you see stuff up to the north of us that's south of Laredo, not far from Alice, Corpus Christi, and then off to the west in Mexico. And that, of course, is where our front is sitting right now. And it is moving very, very slowly. We knew it was going to come to a stop somewhere in deep south Texas, and it will likely continue to kind of sag southward tonight, but it's not going to go through. So we will stay on the warm and humid side of things. But we'll also begin to see some showers and maybe some thunder showers develop as the front sneaks into the region late tonight and early tomorrow. Probably will never clear the valley completely. It'll stop there and then begin to move back to the north and fall apart as it does. But tomorrow, scattered showers, perhaps a thunder shower around. The boundary technically goes away, but the clouds don't. So showers and thunder showers still a possibility on Thursday and even into Friday. That chance of rain is with us once again. As you see the green and yellow, green indicates light rain, yellow indicates moderate rain. You get orange, you might even have a shower or a thunderstorm embedded within that. So you're looking at about a 40% probability tomorrow, slightly less on Thursday than up to 50% on Friday. It's not one of those things where it rains all day any of these days, but it likely will rain in spots each day. There'll be scattered showers around, just not an all day rain. So the front dies right on top of it. Showers break out across a lot of South Texas. You go into Thursday, things not a lot different. There's rain from here to about Corpus Christi. A lot of moisture off to the west as a little disturbance goes through. Another disturbance pushes in to northern Mexico by Friday. That continues pushing eastward. Eventually, we'll get east of us and then push a front through along about Sunday. But the bottom line is that chance for showers will stay with us for the next few days. Here's a look at temperatures right now. Everybody's in the 70s, 74 Port Isabel, 75 in Brownsville. Highs the next three days will be slightly above average until Friday. Then we're right at that normal mark at 78 degrees. If headed to the coast, a few spring breakers out there already. In the morning, about 70 degrees. Easterly winds at about 8. UV index is moderate. Rip current risk is high. The surf temperature is 71 degrees. Afternoon readings stay in the 70s. About a more evening, still around 70 or so. Here are the tides. There are two. Seas 4 to 6 feet. Moderate chop. The bay is at 73. So for tonight across the valley, mainly cloudy. Could be a brief shower. 70 for a low. And then tomorrow, 80 for a high with mainly cloudy skies, a shower, a thunderstorm, a possibility tomorrow. And really that goes for most of the next seven days. There's a possibility of a shower each and every day, including Saturday night, Sunday morning. That's when we change your clock forward one hour. Don't forget to do that. And also don't forget to download the KRGV weather app for all this information. You can find it all right there. That's your updated first one five forecast. Now let's head over to Joel.